had a little bit of a bloody show. Four to five centimeters dilated. <laughs> Hey guys, happy Friday. Today is Friday, May 15th. Hopefully you could see that. This might be the start of our labor and delivery vlog. This morning around 5.20, I had to pee and I had a little bit of a bloody show. So nothing too alarming, which is good because with Mateo, um, I had a lot of bleeding. It is currently 6.15 and of course everybody's up in the household except my mom. I tried to make my hair look cute just in case anything happens but honestly I don't think this is gonna stay. I'm already starting to feel a little bit of you know tightening up here. Say hi. Hey. Say happy Friday. Day. <laughs> Hi, happy Friday. Say happy Friday, babe. Happy Friday. <laughs> I think right now we're just going to be waiting on contractions. I'm going to monitor the bleeding. So far, I'm feeling I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling normal. So yeah, it may happen today. It may happen the next few days. We'll see. I have a few tasks in mind that I want to do just in case we do go to the hospital today. You can't see your face. <laughs> You're so weird. I don't know if Chris should go to work. I'm thinking I do want him to go to work still because he's only about like 10 minutes tops away from home. Hi. Come kiss kiss. Mm. All right, so just a quick little update. It's currently 11.20. Chris ended up going to work. I have my hair down now. I'm not sure how I really want to do my hair if we do end up going to the hospital. So far, I haven't really felt any contractions. I'm wearing a liner, so around 10 minutes ago, I had to pee and the liner was uh, somewhat damp, but it's still like light, bloody show. So that's all I have to update you guys on. Nothing much has happened until the next update. Ooh. I think it might be go time. Just timing my contraction right now. Okay, so update. It's currently 2.42 and around 12, oh my god, I look like crap. Around 12.36, I started feeling some pain. I was just uh, lying down on my right side on the couch. It was every like five minutes, so I kind of just gave Chris a heads up. I told him he could stay at work, you know, they're not too painful but he's home anyways and he took a shower and everything he's just taking a quick little nap around 1 30 i started feeling some pain again it's been like every five minutes i took another shower so far it's been every like three to four minutes i have no idea if i want to go to the hospital right now i might give it another half hour see how much closer these contractions will get and then we'll go from there we're probably gonna head to the hospital in a little bit I don't think I mentioned it yet, but I was able to find like a large bag with a handle and I'm able to close it for my breastfeeding pillow. I got this at Dollarama and it's perfect because the other one, um, the pillow was exposed, right? So I'm so happy. This is perfect. And I don't think I shared this as well, but the pump came in early. I'm just going to keep timing these contractions and at least Chris could take a little snooze. He said it wasn't really too busy at work anyways. All right, so we left the house. We're almost at the hospital. That's so bad because then Jaylene was crying and then Mateo was the one. They were kind of like opposite, you know. Usually Mateo is the one that's like freaking out. But I'm sure they'll be fine. Let's just pray everything happens quickly. How do you feel, babe? Okay. Did you even get a good nap? Yeah. I think I did. Kind of, yeah. Decided to take my Crocs out of the hospital bag because there's no point in you know wearing boots to the hospital and then just bringing extra pair of shoes I'm just interested to find out how everything's gonna go down because they have to make sure I'm in active labor I'll be by myself for a little bit but I should be fine all right we're here All right, so I'm just in this waiting room. They already took my registration papers and everything. So I'm just waiting to get checked into triage. My contractions are still coming every like four minutes or so. So we're going home. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I am 
four to five centimeters dilated. Chris is here with me. So our next step now, uh, they did some blood work. Our next step now is to just walk around. They want my contractions to get stronger, you know, get things going. Happy Saturday! Today's Saturday, May 16th. I don't even remember the last thing that I vlogged. I think Chris uh, vlogged. I'm not sure what other footage he got, but everything just went by very quickly. After they told us to walk around, we came back up, walked for like another 20 minutes and then that's when my contractions kept getting stronger and then we went back to triage sorry the nurse uh, popped in my new nurse so as I was saying after we went back to triage before I went to lie down on the bed um, I went to pee after I peed I went back on the bed and then I think I was having a contraction and I heard a snap and my water broke right there on the bed. Ever since my water broke, that's when the contraction started getting a lot stronger. At that point, I really, really wanted and needed the epidural. From triage, they moved me to my room, probably within like 15 minutes. I was still dying of my contraction, still hoping for the epidural. But I started pushing apparently around 7.06, and I only pushed for eight minutes, baby girl came out at 7.14. It definitely felt a lot longer than that, but I'm surprised I only pushed for eight minutes. Chris actually went home around nine o'clock. He was kind of able to spend a little bit more time with the kids before they went to bed. And I mean, our plan was for him to stay here, but I was fine overnight by myself. I didn't really need too much help. I think if I had the epidural, it would be a different story because then I would be numb from the waist down. Yeah, after having her, I was able to walk around. The only thing is that uh, there's just a little bit of stinging when I pee, but I mean, I can't really complain. There's no other pain to talk about. And she's doing a very well. Um, everything is good with her. Chris actually just uh, arrived back at the hospital. He's getting some Timmy's for himself. It's currently 8, uh, 10. There's supposed to be a family doctor that's going to check up on baby, I believe. And just make sure everything's okay. I think that should happen around 10 o'clock. So this is breakfast. Got some cereal, milk, um, orange juice, little muffin. I was actually going to tell Chris to get me something from Timmy's downstairs, but... I think I'm good with this breakfast. Got a yogurt. But she's doing very, very well. Huh. Hi. Hi, Chloe. Hi. Hi. <laughs> What's up? Hello, Cozy here. Daddy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> All right, guys. Doctor saw the baby. Everything is good. It is almost 11 o'clock. We will make it home before Mateo takes his nap. Just gathering everything up, putting baby in the car seat. Let's go home to Big Sissy and Big Brother. Our first car ride home. We're home. Oh my goodness. Did we get everything? Yeah. Who's that? Oh my God. What the hell was that? Say baby. 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 Are you happy? Oh my. 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 Oh my
my goodness. I picked up these toys for the kids a couple days ago. So this will be from baby Chloe. It's his first time getting a gift. Oh, it's sad. It's his first Do you remember when Mateo gave you a gift when yeah. he came home? Is that from baby Chloe? Hey guys, just coming on here to end this video. Today is Tuesday, May 26th, and so far everything has been great. I'm feeling awesome, nothing to complain about really, and baby Chloe is doing well. She's feeding and sleeping well. She wakes up every three hours at night, sometimes even longer. Sometimes I actually have to wake her up and just check on her diaper. I really hope you guys enjoyed this labor and delivery video. The only footage that I wish I captured is the moment where I was having those painful contractions honestly during those contractions I was dying of so much pain if I would rate it out of 10 it would be like a hundred or a thousand they were very painful and of course the last thing on my mind was picking up my camera and again I really wish I captured that moment because although it was painful you know it's part of the process so I kind of wish I had something like that to look back on but I'm just really thankful and grateful and happy with the way everything played out with the labor and delivery. Even though that wasn't my birth plan, I really wanted the epidural. And honestly, if it was like a last minute choice, if they gave me a choice, uh, if I wanted the epidural or not still, I probably would have said yes to it. Definitely stay tuned for more vlogs and other videos as well. Please don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up, and of course subscribe as well if you have not already. Also turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on a brand new video. Thank you so much for watching this video and following my pregnancy journey. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram for more updates and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!